What's up guys? Today I'm here in Jones Park and the people of this community wanted to do a little spiffing up of the basketball court so we're going to put down a ground mural that matches this playground equipment back here. So currently we're just laying down the Jones Park stencils on the ground. Since we can't project, it'll be a lot harder to mark our lines to paint within. sure that we've got the spacing right so it's time to mark. My name is uh, Anthony Franks. I grew up here in Marion, Illinois, in the uh, community of uh, Jensen Monroe. Uh, today we're here at John W. Jones Park, a uh, park I grew up playing basketball on, working on my skills, and you know, ultimately going college, going to college to do so. So, moved back home and wanted to do something here and make a change and be a big, you know, change in the community and uh, mentor and whatever else I can be here and. Uh, I'm back home and I love it. Just want to make a big change, build houses, uh, bring the neighbor back to the community, back to the hood. <laughs> everybody that's coming out to paint tomorrow, um, I'd like to thank everybody personally. Um, me and my wife, we uh, run a local construction company here called Yellow Door Inc. And uh, we are grateful. Thank you guys so much. It's supposed to rain tonight, so we're covering it in tarps. <laughs> John W. Jones is actually my grandfather, and giving back to the community, uh, I would like to see the kids have something that uh, I didn't have growing up here in, uh, in Jens Park, uh, or John W. Jones Park, and I think it's important to give back to the community as an older gentleman, so I thought it would be something neat, something new, something exciting. My mom's dad, and I, you know, he was an honorable, respectable guy, and I just wanted to continue, you know, the good things he'd done for this community. I want to be a part of the same thing.
to this, I never would really have guessed the challenges and struggles that we would face as a community trying to paint this basketball court, but here's some tips and tricks to kind of share my experience with you. Number one, there will never be enough paint. For an example, we got five gallons of light green. In the end, we had had to use 13 gallons, so always over budget if you're trying to budget. Another thing that we learned is that extension poles are a must. No one wants to be on get, getting up and down on their knees on asphalt, concrete. It's very painful, so maintain good posture, keep your back healthy, and use extension poles for rollers. Another thing is that unlike on a wall, you know, big rollers actually work really well for on the ground. On a wall, the big rollers soak up so much paint compared to what the ground soaks up, but asphalt soaks up a lot of paint. So, in the end, I hope that you use these if you're trying to paint a ground mural so that you can paint it more efficiently. Well, it's 10 o'clock and we're 98% done with this basketball court mural. We used three times as much paint as we thought we would, but we got there in the end and I think it looks pretty sharp.